What's up guys, welcome back to the Bianconeri Zone for another video on this Friday, match day. For me, the biggest game of the season. For me, the are we in a title race or are we in a Scudetto race game of the season, basically. We play Napoli in about few, in a few hours. Um, and what is, for me, a very, very decisive game. Uh, and I believe, my personal opinion, it's a must-win game. Uh, but let's see how we are going to, you know, manage to pull that one off. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to talk about the game a little bit, but I'm going to talk about the two coaches and what I think we need to do to, you know, get a result out of that, you know, stadium that hasn't been very kind for us in the last couple of years. Um, but this game starts off with these two guys, of course. And it starts off with Allegri because he is playing mind games for a very long time, you know, I mean, yes, before he got sacked and all those things, but even this season, he's playing not mind games, like he's being honest, but he's being too, how do you want to say that, too, he has too many compliments, they go over the top at times, where you're like, eh, you know, uh, and we knew he was going to do that, we knew, we knew that, what we didn't know, or like what I didn't expect, is the re reaction of Spalletti, I thought he was going to react, but he, I, I believe he took it up a notch than he usually does. We will get into that. Uh, and it starts off with Allegri's presser because he was asked about the game, about Napoli and all those things, obviously, because we play Napoli. And he said today, so tomorrow, but today it's not a decisive game, but a very important one for them. Now, <laughs> that's a lot. It's a lie, I, or, or or maybe it's not a lie. Maybe people don't think it's a decisive game. I do. If we lose, I think it's very decisive. It's important for us, and I believe if it's decisive, it's decisive more for us. Of course, if Napoli win, it's decisive for him because I think they're just gonna run away with the title. Because Milan look like they're not, you know, can pull put up the numbers they did last season. I have a feeling. So I believe if Napoli win, that's them winning the title. They're not gonna be caught because the others are also going to drop as many points. That's what I believe. But I think it's more decisive for us. I actually believe that because at the start of January, it was 10 points. It's seven now. You're on a roll. You're on a streak. You go to a place where it's hard to win in the last couple of years. They're the best team in the league at the moment by a mile, in my opinion. Uh, if you win, you, you know, you put them in a very, I believe, doubtful position. Because at the start of January, it was 10 points. Should you win today, it's four. Like, it's four points with half a season still to play for. One game in your own stadium against them. Like, that's big. That's big pressure on them and big pressure on us because, you know, everybody expects now you're going to, you know, power through. But it's very big pressure on them because you go from 10 to four points in three weeks, not even, like, two weeks, that's big time, like, that's, like, mentally, I believe, you're 10 points ahead two weeks ago, and then out of nowhere, you're, like, four points ahead, that's big time, because that doesn't give you a comfortable feeling, it gives you a feeling, man, if we drop point one more time, it could be two, it could be one, like, it can very go, it can go very quickly, I believe, so I believe it's very decisive, but for us as well, even more for us, because, Nobody expected Napoli to win the title at the start of the season. A lot of people expecting us in the media, Allegri himself, to be up there and compete. So I think the pressure is on, our, on us more, in my opinion, because of expectations, the club we are, all those things. But he's playing mind games. Now, usually Spalletti is very calm, composed when he talks about Juve and Allegri. Uh, but I thought he took the bait. <laughs> he took the bait... Um, he played mind games as he should, but he went a step too, a step too far. Not that he's not that he's lying, but usually he doesn't go in that direction. And he said, for Juve team full of champions, it's impossible to hide from the role of favorite. Uh, about to Allegri uh, Palmeiras, they have made investments to win the Scudetto and the Champions League, not top four. Now that last part is spot on. Besides the Champions League, we didn't make investments to win the Champions League. This team is miles away from winning a Champions League. So that's a lie. That's going over the top. That's why I'm saying he took the bait and he walked with it a, a bit too far, you know. But yeah, we 
made investments to win the title. Like that's 100% true. Uh, and not just to scrape top four. That's that's a fact because Allegri stated that at the start of the season, we need to be in a title race. We need to push for that title. Now, he said, for a team of Juve full of champions, it's impossible to hide from the favorite role. I agree with that, but not this season. We are not the favorites in the, going into this game. He knows that. They're the better side. They are, and I know we're coming from an eight-game um, winning streak without conceding, but if we're being completely honest, we're still seven points behind for a reason. Overall this season, they have been the better team. They are. They played a better football, and they have had an incredible run, a much better run than ours. Like, yes, eight games, but we're still seven points behind. That tells you something. Seven points is a lot. In, the, in our, how do you want to say it, heydays, if we were seven points in front of a team, you knew we were going to win this title easily. Yes, it could go back to five, four, but at the end of the day, you knew we were going to win that title. Seven points, we're not giving that away. We, we knew that. So we were the clear favorites. Now, besides the name, Juve, I don't think we are in favor, favorable positions. Look at our last two seasons. That doesn't scream you're the favorites. Same for Napoli, but they're seven points ahead, and I believe they are the favorites. Even tomorrow's game, they play at home, they play the better brand of football, I think they're just the favorites, you know? So I believe, again, he took the bait with the Champions League one. That was going way over the top because that those investments are not winning, not to win a Champions League. I'm sorry. Like, that's not what it is. Um, but um, to win a title, yes, 100% sure. He's putting the pressure back on us. Back on us, excuse me. So it's mind games. It's mind games, as expected, um, in a very, very very big game uh, that I believe we should win. Like, like, we must win, not we should, but we, we, we need to manage to win that game. I don't... For once, I absolutely don't care how we do it. You know, a late-minute penalty after, you know, having conceded 20 shots on target. I don't really care. We need to put pressure on them. We need to get a result. And with a result, I mean three points. If we pick up one point, I don't even know how to feel. Like, I, I just don't know how to feel. If you go, I would be like, okay, they are the better side, and we have been playing badly away from home to Napoli the last couple of years. Okay, it's a big game, but then it's still seven points. And yes, there's a very long way to go, but it will sit very wrong with me. If we lose, I will come on the stream and say, that's it. Like, making up 10 points is kind of ridiculous for us. It is. Like, they need to have an absolute all-time meltdown, and we need to go on an absolute crazy streak, going from eight wins with a loss, going back to eight wins or whatever, even better. So if we lose, I think it's, I think it's done. You know, it's going to be a top four race. So a lot at stake for me, for my opinion today, like a lot of stake, uh, at stake, excuse me, and we need to show up, you know. We need to show up in terms of do we want this? Do we actually want this? The players need to show up. There cannot no be... There cannot be four or five players, you know, playing the usual eh, game, you know. We need the big guys to show up. Di Maria is going to start, you know. He needs to show up big time. The back line, Danilo gets a lot of praise. You need This is a big game. You need to show up. Chesney and goal need to show up. Rabio, hey, you want that money again? You need to show up. All these players where you're looking at at this game, they need to show up. Kids are coming from the bench. You need to have an impact because that's the type of game we're going to need to play because they are coming for us. They're not going to sit back at home. They know, and I believe that they feel if we win this game, we are not going to walk with it. Like it's done, but like I believe it's done. They're not thinking that, but I do believe they think if we go out there and make a statement and we win, put them back in 10 points, this could be our year. And this could be the, fl not the flip, but like maybe, yeah, the flip that makes them think or believe we can do this. We can win this thing. That's how I think they are seeing it. So it's going to be a very intense game, in my opinion, from start to finish, uh, depending on, you know, what the result is in the 60th minute. We will see how that going to turn out. And, you know, that goal scoring streak, it's away from home against a big team. Uh, we played Napoli, uh, Lazio and Inter at home. We kept a clean sheet. This is a next level task because they score easily. And they put a lot of pressure on you. So, interesting to see how we're going to cope with that. 
Um, but that's the video. Let me know in the comments what you think. You know, is it a very decisive game? And let me know what you think the result is going to be. Are we going to get away with three points? Hopefully. Or a point. I don't know. Or just no points. Uh, <laughs> that can also be the case. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching. We will see you back uh, tonight for the reaction live and all those things. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Please like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And we will see you back later in a few hours. Ciao.